To complete the header, first of all, you have to create the necessary page. In your dashboard, go to Pages and click All Pages. Currently, there are two pages here. The first one is Privacy Policy and the second one is Sample Page. Now, if I go to our website, here you can see there are five pages. So let's start from home page. Now the first one is home, about me, visited place, blog and contact. Let's create those page here. So I'm going to click on add new. So I would like to click a new tab, uh, open a new tab here because I don't have to come back again and again to add new page. So I would like to just press command from my keyboard and press the right key from my mouse. Now the first page is home. Click publish. And the second page about me. Click publish. And the third page is visited place. Click publish here. And fourth one is blog. Publish. And the fifth one is contact. Is it contact us or contact me? Okay, it's only contact. Now I have created all the pages inside my dashboard. So if I go to, uh, before going to pages, I'm going to close all the tab here because that's not necessary at this moment. Now I'm going to click all pages. Here you can see all the pages I have created that are visible here. Now if I go to appearance and menus, I have to create a new menu so that I can display this on my header. Now create a menu called primary menu. You can add any kind of name here. So for uh, basically uh, professionally, most of the user used primary menu as the header menu. So you should also give a good name so that you can remember later for which places you have place this menu and the purpose of the menu so that's why it's a best practice to put a, a meaningful name for menu or every single page even uh, i have noticed that most of the people are just use random name inside their elementor template so i also recommend uh, to use a meaningful name when you are going to create a new template in elementor even create a new menu new page for all of them so now I just create a new menu which is called primary menu and click create a menu. On the left side here you can see all the page that I have created a few moments ago. So here you can see home, about, block, contact and there is another home. So let's add them. The first one is custom. So we do not want to use the custom home which is default and let's reposition all the menu item here so the visited i missed that visited one here and click primary menu so that it will display inside the primary menu save change now if i go to customize and i have to publish this one because i haven't uh, saved the changes previously and reload the customizer setting here here you can see all the menu items are visible. Now if I click on header builder. Now I'm going to create the header right now. So here you can see let's compare the header. There is a logo, there is a menu, social icon and then there is a button. So I have downloaded the logo already in my local server. So if I go to finder, here you can see the logo that I'll be using on this website. Now go to customize and click site title and logo here. Select your logo and you can simply drag and drop your logo here. 
give a better name for alternative text it's the best practice for seo and make sure you have always added a uh, meaningful name here so this is a logo for travel blog so i just use logo or you can use your domain name here select i'm not going to crop this one i would like to use the uh, exact size that i'm using right now so that that's why i'm going to click on skip cropping so as you can see the logo is displaying here perfectly and along with the logo there is another text which is called travel blog now i'm going to disable that travel blog title so you have to simply scroll down and here you can see the other options now click on here to disable the title now it's disable and the menu looks like this so if i go to my design again here you can see the menu should display at the middle and also the right side the social icon and button go to customize again and drag this menu to the middle and click over here to add a button so here you can see a button called button yes the button called should button and also here you can see the button looks like this it's not similar to the design that i am using right now i'll be changing the design later so click on button and the text is latest update so type here latest update now as you can see the button comes with the text latest update and here you can change the link when someone click on this button where you would like to take them so currently there is a using a wpastra.com default landing page url so i'm going to use hashtag at this moment so later on i can change or you can change uh, this link on your website so if i click on hide control here you can see the header looks like this it looks perfect almost now i have to use social icon click on here and click social icon or social now go to travel design and here you can see facebook twitter linkedin and youtube if i go to customize again and click social here you can see facebook twitter instagram and there's another one that i have to use which is called linkedin click add social icon now i have added all of them here you can place it near to this button now if i hide the control it looks perfect but if you take a look at the menu color which is black and there is a small underline so i'm going to use this one right now let's go to the customizer again and click primary menu go to design and simply scroll down so before going to scroll down here you can see menu hover style and you can change the hover style to underline then scroll down a little bit and here you can see the menu text color so i'd like to use the menu text color which is black and the hover color should be if you hover over the box here here you can see the normal color then if i hover over you can see on the tool tip which is called hover color and also here you can see on the tooltip it's called active color so you can also change the background color but we do not have the background color in our design at this moment so that's why i'm going to use hover color only and also i'd like to change the active color the similar color one and the menu font should be montserrat because currently it's displaying the global font or the body font type that we are using previously and the font size 14 pixel or you could use 15 pixel as well and font weight you can change it to medium let's hide the control and it looks perfect now if i go to the social icon it's just icons there is no background here so if is there any options let's take a look so 
it's the default one and we can change the color but i think this one is perfect at this moment and if i click publish go to my page and reload the page now as you can see it looks perfect with the hover color even there is a border at the bottom and the button should display a little bit border radius right so let's add some border radius in the button area so go to the customizer setting again and click on global here click on buttons and here you can see the button type if i select here and hide the control the button looks perfect right now if i go to the design options the button text color should display black go to customizer again open the customizer and change the button font or button border and text color you can change everything from here let's change the color here and change the button font so i'd like to use 14 pixel at this moment even you can set the padding as well let's add some padding at the top 13 pixel and at the bottom should 13 pixel now it looks similar and perfect so that's all for the home page uh, not the home page that's all for the header and i hope after watching this uh, video and after following this video exactly you can easily create your header looks like this